Hey y'all, good morning, Chuck here. Hey, today I want to do a little video on properly pronouncing Thailand. Everything you said, they already knew, more or less. Well, here's something that you didn't know. Two of those special atomic bombs haven't gone I guess a month and a half, not too long, but uh, I've been in Thailand for seven months. I've actually been studying studying Thai for over a year. So. With the help of my wife, with the help of books, with the help of online podcasts and stuff like that when I lived in America. So what really helped me out the most when I got here was going to school and spent the first month just learning the Thai alphabet. So once I learned the alphabet, then I could properly uh, say a Thai word. Because the problem is, is that these books right here are all pretty much French influenced uh, with, you know, with all the, uh, the phonics and everything else trying to say, uh, to say a word out of this book is impossible. So, but I've used this book a lot for reference. Uh, when I say a word out of it, they look at you like, hmm? <laughs> but uh, it, it helps. It does help. Uh, the best thing, if you don't know, is Google. At least they can properly pronounce the word. They may not get the sentence correctly because we try to say things in a structure that's totally different than Thai structure. So... Uh, Google will translate it the way that you say it and sometimes it'll say it backwards or in a, in a meaningless way so you have to talk like a Thai person to get Google to actually translate it properly like for example uh, I'm hungry uh, in Thai they go hungry now full now eat now they talk like Neanderthal sometimes but we have blown out long sentences for one you know, one, one thing that we want, this sentence is extremely long, just like this one. So, I have a uh, viewer that is contradicting me. <laughs> I promised, first off, I promised everybody I wouldn't argue no more on my, uh, on my comments. So, uh, if I was to make a video and show you that this is my dollar, uh, I would get at least four or five people telling me that it's not my dollar. I, I couldn't own a dollar. The dollar's fake. Um, that's just a part of life, right? So, uh, I don't know. I'm glad I don't have, like, that much free time on my hands to where I could constantly do that. But I get it. Here's the problem. Um, the word falang. Okay, this is, this is where this is all coming from. Uh, falang is... First off, the only time I've ever heard, okay, it's spelled like Farang, F-A-R-A-N-G, Farang. The only time I've ever heard that is from an English person or somebody living around a bunch of foreigners, because that's how it's spelled, Farang. So the problem is, is that when you try to do a Thai grammar from a book, that's what you get. So look at this book, for example. Look at Hello. Let me put my glasses on because I'm blind as shit. Let's look at this book. Sawat, Sawat B. Kop. Okay. So if you try to say it like it's pronounced here, you're never going to say it like a Thai person. Okay. It's, it's not Sawat B. Kop. Okay. Let's look at one other thing here. I understand. Kao Che. I understand is uh, Kao Jai. Kao Jai. Jai uh, can mean heart also. But together, Kao Jai is I understand. So I would, before I started going to class, I would write it down on the palm of my hand every day, one word. Try to learn one, maybe two words a day. So I would take a Sharpie and I would write down a word like Kao Jai. 
But I wouldn't spell it like this in here because I would always say cow che, cow che. So my brain hears cow jai. So spell it like your brain hears it. Cow, it's jai, jai. Okay, so I would spell it like that. And then I would constantly say it all day. When I'd forget, I'd look at my hand for reference. But to help me say it properly, that's what I would do. So I want to uh, just let people know that Thai people do try to understand, especially in an expat community, what you're trying to say. But here, even though I've been going to school and I try to say stuff, they just look at you like, huh? Because Thai is a tonal language and one tone can mean, a different tone can mean five different things in one word, right? So what do you got up here? Pages? This is my board that, this is what I do now because now that I understand the Thai alphabet and I can recognize the words and the sounds, I can say them properly. The problem is trying to remember them. So I write down, I'm, I'm at this many right now, and this is what I did this week. So, so I got well done, wait, hold on, I'll be back and keep it up, and I know. So this right here is, Paige wrote Falong. That's Falfan, Rarua, Nongu, Falong. So on the R's, this is Rarua, <laughs> they don't say Farang, they say it. They can't, they, they usually use anything with an R, they use as an L, Falang, Falang. Now that being said, all this being said, if you're in different parts of Thailand, they pronounce things differently uh, versus in Chiang Mai, down south in Phuket, uh, Bangkok, and in Isan. So uh, it's just like in America or wherever. You, I know in England, uh, I just did a, a video of an English guy, and I had a whole bunch of people tell me where he's from. I didn't realize that it was that specific in language over there, but same goes here. So that right there is, how do you pronounce that word? Farang. Farang. So in a speaking language, what do Thai people say just in an everyday speaking language? Falang. Falang. Why do why do they call Falangs Falangs? I guess it's long time ago. There's a lot of French around here. Uh huh. You can't mix it French. Right. So Falang. <laughs> <laughs> it's come out easy. So the original okay. term Falang comes from French. Uh, they can't say French. The problem is, is Thai people cannot say English words because their letters, their sounds don't translate into their language. So they'll say stuff like strawberry. They can't say it. They say strawberry. They can't say apple. They say appen. There's a lot of examples that I can give you, but uh, the first thing is, is that foreigner falang. <coughs> And you can spell it however the hell you want to spell it. Uh, comes originally comes from the word French. So I'm going to go around today and ask a couple people some words. I have some teachers that I personally know in the neighborhood, and I'll get them to try to. Uh, <clears throat> and this video isn't about oh I showed you. Really, this video is about. Uh, I want people to properly say words, and I'm just explaining to you uh, that this book right here is great, and learning on the internet is great, but Thai language is tonal, and if you want to speak Thai and you want to try to, to read that book, ask a Thai person how to properly pronounce it, and then change the letters and write it on your hand or write it on a piece of paper so you can properly say it right, so you don't look like a, a fool. So. Let's start with my father-in-law. Paul Red. Pasat Thai Put. Falang or Farang? Am I Falang or Farang? Falang, Farang, Pasat Thai. Falang or Farang? Falang. Falang. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can ask my mother-in-law. Man, Falang or Farang? Falang. Farang? My mic. My Farang. Falang. Okay, Falang. My mother, Soy Mafia here, says Falang. Usually what she says goes. I should end the video now, but I'm not. 
We're going to walk around uh, today. It's raining. Of course, it hasn't stopped raining. And who knows how long. So I think it's been a couple, it's been raining for about a month and a half now. So anyway, it'll, it'll break. Usually it breaks enough for me to get about a 15, 20K bike ride in. Okay, this is a teacher. He's retired. He lives in the neighborhood. I'm going to get him to properly say Falang. So, so Paige is asking him how to say Farang. Farang? Falang. 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 Falang, Falang, Falang. 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 How long did he teach? How long was he a teacher? Okay, 18 years. Sipat B is 18 years. He's a teacher here in Thailand. This is my favorite breakfast place. This is my favorite person that makes me kapiak sen tukwan every day. Aloy mak mak. Di suit, which means the very best. So ask ask her in Thai, how do you say foreigner? Flong. <laughs> She's confused because she doesn't know why I'm saying <laughs> Farang. <laughs> Is it Farang or Falang? Falang. Falang. Okay, Falang. <laughs> you look at me like I'm crazy for saying Farang. Of course, I say crazy stuff all the time. I'm going to ask her daughter. If the proper word for Falang or Farang. So, Pasa Thai, Kon Falang or Kon Farang? Farang. Farang. And Pasa Isan Falang? Falang. So, the Thai word for Falang is Farang. Farang. Yeah. Uh, but in Isan and speaking language, it's Falang. 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 Yeah. Ask her if she's ever heard the word Farang. There's another one. So anyway, that was a great breakfast. Uh, there's a handful of people here in my town. I could go around town all day and get set now. Uh, I want to ask one more person, and that's my teacher, so hopefully she doesn't give me an over-the-top, <laughs> way blown-out explanation. So anyway, let's go check it out. Let's go see what she has to say. This is my teacher, Krumal. So I'm going to ask Krumal, and this will be the last person that I asked today, on how to properly say... Uh, foreigner. Uh, the foreigner word in English literature is spelled F-A-R-A-N-G, which sounds like farang. But in Thai, how do Thai people say foreigner or say French or wherever? The word event originally came from French, right? Yeah. From the term French. So how do you say farang, farang? Uh, fa farang. Farang. Yeah. Fa fan rarua. Mahanaga. No spell. No new spells. And then I have uh, my egg. Right. My egg is mean. I have to fry to now, right? By sound. Uh huh. No more. My egg. My two. My three. My chapter one. But leave different the sound a little bit, not much. Right. How you say hello? Farang. In speaking language, uh, they don't say farang, they say falang. Because I hear in Isan, where we live, falang a lot. Falang, falang, falang. Not farang. Up to the south. Right. But if you uh, stand on Ilan, maybe 
ฝรั่งมันอินไทยฝรั่งฝรั่งฝรั่งโอเคเซมีนิ่งใช่ใครเซฟคอฟรอยน์เนอร์ฝรั่ง because ไทยโดนโน่จีเนมใช่โอลี For easy for all to know different some person in Thai. It's not a derogatory. It's yeah. not a racist statement. Mm. It's just that that's just the way it is. Yeah. Fun on. So, mm. I really appreciate your time. You're not open yet, but thank you for coming out and talking to me. So, I talk a lot. Fun on. 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 Fun So yeah, um, I could go over to my English buddy's house and ask him uh, how to say it, and he would say farang. He says farang all the time, but his Thai wife says farang. But it's still early, and I don't feel like going, waiting, and going over there. So, but uh, the moral of this story is that you know, when I came to Thailand, I had a whole lot of ideas on how things were supposed to be uh, from the way I remember them before. And uh, it was totally different. So, if we live our lives so close-minded, thinking that because we've seen it this way one time, that's the way it is, then you're only hurting yourself. So, we need to try as human beings uh, to be open-minded because we never, we'll never learn. If we're always speaking, we're only talking about things that we know. So, sometimes maybe you should listen. Um, I have said a lot of things on my vlogs and had people contradict me, and they were correct. Uh, I don't have a problem with somebody telling me this is the way it should be or, or their experiences, because um, that's that's life. We try to listen, and we, you know, I don't claim to be right about anything. I'm just living life through my own eyes. Uh, I try to experience. Everything. If somebody says this is the way it is, and I believe that, and, and I do it, and, it, and it's totally different experience than theirs, uh, I'm not going to call them up. Hey, you're wrong, because we all have different experiences in life. Um, if I tell you, hey, I flew Air Asia and it sucked horribly, and I recommend never going on that airline ever, uh, but you get on it, you've had the best experience in your life. You know, that's our own opinions, and you know, it's okay to have an opinion, but don't base opinions and don't base your experiences on facts. There's only one fact in life, and that is you're going to die. So, uh, everything out there that's factual is not fact. Uh, there's 83,423 people that live in Thailand and that live in my town of Tat p a n o m But that's not true. That's a fact, but it's not true because there's people here that aren't registered. There's there's all kind of factors involved in that fact that make it not factual. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, stop living life through Wikipedia. Okay, Wikipedia is a good reference on things if you're not sure about certain things. But don't say that that's the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be. And if somebody says something different, they're wrong. If I see a nine and you see a six, doesn't mean that you're right and I'm wrong. It's just the way that we see things in life. Anyway, I talk way too much about this subject. Uh, I just wanted to say, stop thinking too much. Be happy, okay? Uh, life isn't always how you see it. Walk out the door, go down the street, smell some flowers, talk to somebody, okay? Have a nice day. If you like the video, hit like. If you don't, I'm sorry. Um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. We got a lot coming. We got a lot of videos. I think I just made my 200 200th video. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful comments and the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You want to say bye to everybody? Bye. <laughs> She's doing dishes.